right, guys, what's up? So, I'm not done, but I'm just going to do the video now because insulation is coming next and you won't be able to see uh, my pipe work. You know, uh, what's going on here. Anyway, we have a feed, one half inch feed for the these two bedrooms. You could fit up to nine wires in there, which is six circuits, overkill for sure, but whatever. And then another feed for the bathroom. That's what I'm working on now. And then that feed is gonna be for the living room. Uh, the drywall is gonna end up here, but I'm doing built-ins there, so I still have to frame that out. I just gotta get this, uh, I'm gonna finish the electrical first. Um, I ran out of wood the other day, and I mean, I got some now, but I gotta frame that in, and I gotta frame this side in. But I have framed everything else in, so. Um, yo. Anyway, so. There's the feed, and I, I got it stubbed over. And I didn't want to build that, because that's how I've been coming in and out. Um, so I don't have to walk in, you know, the clean part of the house, the cleaner part of the house. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, can, smoke alarm, can. And then we got, I still have to move my vent over a little bit. Um, can and can, you can't see it because of the light. Outlet, outlet, switch for a closet. I still have to frame that closet in, but the electrical work is done. Um, and an extra outlet there. So this room is gonna have one, two, three, four five five outlets that's that's plenty anyway i don't know if you noticed that but look at those windows got all that framed in i actually did have help there's a couple local guys um that i will be using again those guys came here man and uh brand new f-250 uh they had a trailer an enclosed trailer with all their tools and uh those guys helped me knock some shit out i'll show you what's going on with that uh anyway so then there's this bedroom i just walked through the closet this is all piped in um smoke alarm i wish i could have got my can center but i'm not gonna reframe the damn ceiling that feed right there is for the bathroom which i'm working on now uh anyway you know outlet <laughs> And this room's gonna have four cans, obviously, and a ceiling fan. This room's gonna have a ceiling fan too. Don't know if I showed you that. Yeah, whatever, there's a ceiling fan over there. Um, and then in here, I've got an outlet behind that shit, an out, cause the bed's gonna go here. So outlet, outlet. Um, there's another outlet under my switch and an outlet in this corner. That's that that's all I need. I mean it's a pretty small bedroom. But look at the difference with these big ass windows in here, man. I mean what a difference. I'll show you guys the outside. Anyway, here's my shitty bathroom. <clears throat> but uh I don't know why I always think of Will when I talk like that. <laughs> my shitty bathroom. <laughs> anyway, uh so yeah, I just got five cans going in there. They're gonna go in a row. One for inside the shower, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna put an exhaust fan and I'm gonna vent it. Okay, um, let me show you outside. So you guys saw that shit I had on my, uh, my house before, that cardboard stuff. Let me uh, show you what's up. Anyway. There's the old windows. Look how small those little pieces of shit are. But look at this stuff. Yeah, baby. And, uh, I mean, you remember what that other hack did when I was gone with those windows? Yeah. yeah use a laser, dude. <laughs> use my laser shadow line. Everything's centered and good and nice. So this uh, zip system, man, this shit is sweet love work oh yeah i cut in vents so there was a vent over there but this addition didn't have them so uh, i cut in a, or no it did have one right there but i cut these in um that addition is not wasn't vented well and it was still holding a little bit of moisture so that will definitely uh that will definitely help so oh man that feels so good anyway but this tape 
<laughs> this seam tape. So obviously this is going to all be zip walled too. And then siding over it. Um, this is as much as I could get that done this time. But that tape definitely will cover that seam and, I, and, and I'll have no water. Uh, now this stuff they sell in 7 16 and they sell it in half inch. The 7 16 is recommended for the sides, half inch for the roof. I went overkill and just put half inch. Um, you know, it's a sixteenth bigger for like two bucks. Whatever, I don't know. It's better for two bucks a sheet. I don't care. But that's what she's looking like, guys. Uh, it rained like a son of a bitch the day before we did this. So, you know, I put the straw down and that's the floor I ripped up from those bedrooms. Oh, yeah. I uh, ripped all that shit up in there. And I uh, resheated it too. I'm sure you just saw in those videos. Um, so yeah. Now the bathroom. Guys come in uh, tomorrow for an estimate. Um, and uh, you know he's he's from Lowe's, so he's one of their reps, and or not reps, one of their contractors. And I want to do that because that tile and all that shit is a lot of money. And if, like I said, if I ever have a problem than, uh, you know, I call Lowe's, dude, you know, I'm not dealing with some BS, anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't know, man, I am, I am a pretty happy guy, so obviously that bathroom window there is a little bit smaller, because this side is going to be a vanity, and the exact opposite side is going to be the shower, so we couldn't make that a bigger window, but, I don't know, look at it from back here, that shit looks sweet, so, and just, you know, the bigger windows too, man. They make those smaller rooms because obviously we made that bedroom smaller because of the bathroom. And I made that other bedroom smaller because of the fireplace. So, um, but they do make those rooms look so much bigger, man, you know. Uh, my field, I don't know if you can see it behind me. That, <laughs> that pasture, it's, it's coming up. I'm going to do a video on that uh uh, before I go, because it's almost time to start heading back. I, I'm I'm busy back there, and I have to get some shit done. So, uh, yeah. You know, I was going to go with, like, OSB and Tyvek. You know, just wrap the son of a bitch. But how many times have you dro driven by a job site and seen a building that's uh, got that shit flapping around? And, you know, you, I mean, you're stapling on. It's, it, this stuff is waterproof, man. It's... Uh, so much better than the cardboard. I wish I had some here. I mean, I don't know. This stuff here, my existing siding. Yeah, look at that. Hey, little buddy. Anyway, I hope no animals got in there. I gotta get some vent covers for that. Uh, yeah, this stuff is cardboard, dude. That stuff is like, it seriously is cardboard. But, I mean, that is... <laughs> I didn't roll the tape. I just used my hand and whatever. So, um, one thing that kind of sucked, but not a big deal. I didn't want to take off my whole soffit to get up in there, so I knew I was going to do this. Uh, but look at that. You know, so I'm going to have to get in there with uh, whatever and cut that off. And then I will just put a piece of trim when I side it. I'll put, I'll, you know, I'll put like a, you know, a little piece of trim, which will match the trim on the windows there to uh, even that out. I'm not taking that whole damn soffit down. So, um, yeah, looking good around here. Oh, I've also decided, and this is going to be a down-the-line project. I hate the way that this is set up. And I know you guys have, uh, have, uh, Hold on, there's a, uh, hold on. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was the neighbor. This guy's got some land uh, I've been looking at. But, uh, yeah, so back to what I was talking about, this. Um, I never liked the way this, this was set up with this driveway deal up here. Um, so if you see... You know, there ain't much of a yard left after that driveway. I put gravel there just because construction, you know, my, my bucket truck was sinking in there. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make that the front of my garage. I'm going to pour a pad in there. And then uh, I'm going to make the apron so there will be a garage door and a garage door here. 
all of that will be yard all of it and then the driveway will start here boom you know i have to put a post up so that don't get hit but it'll come all the way over to the corner of this you know a little road to my shop and that way i can get big trucks in and out real easy you know uh it's a bitch trying to make that corner i mean not in the bucket truck or anything but with bigger uh they got a tractor trailer in here to when i sold my hay but uh it was a bitch they like cut these trees and shit i'm like whatever but yeah so i'll probably leave that tree take out all these little trees here and just make that apron right here man put a culvert in down here and uh and that'll be that but that's uh gotta finish this their own house first but that'll save me that'll save me a lot of money um not putting in a road over by that barn uh because obviously i have the one that wraps around um so you know it's a thought and uh i don't know I, the old lady likes the idea too she wants a bigger front yard you know so that's it as far as this video is concerned i made you know I'm getting ready to leave here in a few days, but uh, I'll do a wrap-up on that uh, pasture and maybe just a final video after that. Anyway, comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to.